how to do everybody welcome back to variety conversation i am lady walker this is part two of 44 year old deputy clyde Kerr the third death wrought by the hand of suicide or maybe not Kerr posted this recording on january the 31st two days later after the last video presented on january the 29th then on february the 1st he was said to have committed suicide in part one, it does sound a bit like suicide, but on this one, it doesn't. He talks about several things in the video and how he is fed up with a system that doesn't give an F about him and how this is a demonic system that he is no longer interested in serving. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. It's uh, January 31st. A little bit after 1.30 last Sunday. So, um, is what it is. I uh, was uh, kind of hoping to see the Super Bowl, uh, this one especially, because we got two uh, Purple Knights actually playing against each other. Mr. Uh, Tyron Matthews and Leonard Fournette. Hope y'all go forth and conquer and, um, you know, I uh, don't think it's happenstance that everything is going on at this particular time. So I don't know, possibly, maybe if y'all want to, you should. Um, like I say, take a knee, but you need to figure something out because this, this is a moment that can be seized. I think that it should be. So, but um, yeah, man. Um, I've had enough of all of this nonsense of, of serving a system that does not give a damn about me or people like me or, um, I mean, just for my life in general. And uh, this is my statement. If, if this isn't something to state that uh, this killing that's going on, especially by the police, which I am, I can't abide by this no more. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having anything to do with this nonsense anymore. Um, call me what you want. Try to discredit me. I have been a stellar, stellar deputy in this five plus years that I've been there. My last email has been, uh, sent. It's copied to somebody. I can't be discredited. Never so much as a, one writer for maybe some reports being late. None whatsoever. So it's not, it can't be said that, uh, you know, I was um, a shammer or anything like that or I, I wasn't pulling my weight. And um, just for contextual purposes, I just want y'all to understand where and what I'm coming from. It's, my entire life has been in, 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 in service of other people. And it's just dawned on me that this time as of now needs to be seized because you don't really give a damn about us. That is the truth. That is the truth. I've served with a full heart in the military. After that, got back into law enforcement, and you have no idea how hard it is to put a uniform on in this day and age with everything that's going on. None. And, uh, Listen, y'all entrust me to safeguard your little ones, your small ones, y'all the thing that's most precious to y'all, and I did that well. Y'all trust me with that. I've had security clearance in the military. That's verifiable. If I was untrustworthy, if I was a threat, would they let me guard the U.S. Embassy in Kabul? Which I did. I trained Iraqi police, Afghan and Afghan National Police. And that's not it, but I wouldn't have been put in a position of that if they thought I was a threat. But that has allowed me to see the inner working of things. And this is a demonic system and it's not anything I can continue to serve and want to be a part of. And this is a, this is, this is, this is not right. This is not, this is no form of justice. Let's go down the list. Both of them? 
shot in his own apartment. How that work? How does that work? Chilling on his couch. I don't give a damn if he had weed in the apartment. You're going to execute somebody for that? Oh, no, y'all are good for that. You, you, you break up families for a plant, this war on drugs and this nonsense. But, oh, now it's starting to get legal because big pharmaceutical companies stand to make billions off of it. And they paid off the lobbyists who, in turn, have started ushering the way it needs to go for them. The countless people who are doing time behind that. How do you, how do you, how do you even make amends for that? You can't. You can't. This Floyd, man, Brianna, this shit is not right. I'm telling you, it's not. I, it, 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 if, if this feels right to you as a person, there's something is wrong with you. This is the furthest thing from right. This is. The, Manner of wickedness that I, bro. And you're getting away with it. When is enough going to be enough for people? Huh? Seriously. Seriously. Y'all are radicalizing people. And then when you, they buck and they want to go against the system because it's not for them, you come down on them with a hammer. I, I, I can't, I don't, I don't understand this. I do not understand this. It's getting to the point now, I, let me tell y'all something. Again, I'm going to go back into it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be wrapping up pretty soon. None of this is happenstance. Do you understand me? None of this is happenstance at all. If you think it's possible that all of this is happenstance with everything that's happened in this immediate area. No. Pellerin? I don't know all the inner workings of that, but between that and just... Man, I, listen, I understand we have a tough job, but we signed up for this. We need help. Help. Because it is, we deal with the bottom rung of society. It does not give us an excuse to just do whatever we want, and that's what we're doing, and we're not being held accountable. And it's, it's just allowed. Not per se in the, the, the environment that I'm in, because, I mean, I don't do normal police work anymore, but I've done it. Look, I was, I was on duty the night Middlebrook got killed. That's hard enough to process when you hear that call come out. I was posted up in front of Troop I, setting up a perimeter, and then they called him. Went back to Monona Zone, which was south, Youngsville Highway, see the vehicles going by, about to make that notification. Get another call, another murder. All the stuff that took place that night, the guys who were south with me, we got a letter of recognition because we did our job. That was just one night for us. Police officers need mental health because you can't tell me what happened in Milwaukee that should have been caught. That should have been caught. That dude, a dude was like an automaton. He just he didn't have any. It was just completely apathetic. He should have, should have got caught. That is a failure of leadership. And it's a systemic thing. Look at it like this. He was the senior most person there. Okay? The freshest person there, the rookie, he was like two weeks out of FTO. He's not going to check somebody that's got 10 plus years and say something. He thinks it's the norm. He's just going to go along with it. And that is the indoctrination and everything. It hasn't happened here. It hasn't been around me. But it, I see how it happens. So all this, this cold or blue silent, no, sorry. I, uh, I'm going to be on the right side of this one. And um, I would rather be considered crazy and whatever they were going to say about me. Oh, he was under the influence of something. I, I, no, that is an easy cop out just to say that I am. Because that's, that will then allow a dialogue not to be started. It needs to be talked about. This is, this is insane, about to go off the rails. And I, I don't want, I'm not doing it anymore. Loved my job. Loved it. Loved every aspect of it. Finally found something I could call my own and made it my own. And, uh, but this is bigger than that. And I'm not a... Uh, 
I'm not going to do that. There's no way I can just be like, oh, okay, it's no big deal. No, this is a very big deal to me. This is a tipping point. And just to continue to think that we can just do what we've been doing and just hitting the status quo like that and people, no, no, no whatsoever. This is wrong. It needs to be resisted against. And you have an obligation and a, du a duty to do that. Because if not, you're complacent. But as in, I would be complacent if I continue just doing what I am doing and not saying anything. I've tried to bring things to people's attention, little small things. But, you know, it's a system. And I'm a small cog in this whole big machine. But I'm, uh, I'm jumping off. <laughs> no, no. Come with me. I don't know. I ain't going to be around for that. That is on y'all. But I can tell you this. There's more good people than bad. Y'all need to figure that shit out real quick because it's the truth. It is the absolute truth. And if y'all ain't got each other's back, then they're going to continue to divide and conquer and just sow dissension and everything between people who are actually probably making me out a good ally. But this, uh, this, this whole system, this thing that was built on free slave labor, and you, there's no way that this can't implode on itself. It's, we can't continue on. You won't even give us reparations. That's the thing about it. Y'all thinking about money. It's, it's about being decent. And people are so busy calling themselves Republicans and Democrats, they don't even just be a decent person anymore. That is sad. This is a sad state of affairs. We're leaving our children, and we're wondering why they're wilding out, trying to have augmentation and reassignments at seven, eight years old. This is preposterous. Absolutely preposterous. And y'all letting them do it like it's cool. Because you want to be able to get away with yourself. Like, oh, well, they're doing that. No, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. So with that said, no sense in griping unless you actually have some things that you can think that you could probably be fixed. There needs to be more civilian uh, oversight, like an advisory committee. I think they need to... Um, have term limits, whether they be appointed or elected, a uh, certain amount of hours for being a, in a ride along required, um, scenario familiarization, put them through scenarios, because the general public doesn't know what we go through. This is it. That night I described to you, that was that was that was that was a bad night for me. That was a bad night for me, just to carry on. It's, but I was I was I processed it. Police officers are exposed to the debris in the bottom rung of society and then they're expected to keep a, 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 a stiff chin. It, like, it's not affecting them. It is affecting your psyche. I'm telling you it is. You cannot be exposed to that and not expect it to manifest itself in some way. Nobody calls the police when they're having a good day. It's the truth, right? Domestics got robbed, something like that. Sometimes you need somebody in a uniform. Your bad day that might be the first call on my shift that I'm about to have another maybe half dozen of those. And I'm lucky if they're not as severe as this one. It might be worse. Anyway, so I think it needs to be, uh, along with this committee, they need to have standardized training, like whether that be an abbreviated type of academy, but they need to be familiar with uh, procedures. And they need to be um, familiar with statutes as per a specific state, but this is what I'm saying. Like, it, this needs to happen. It needs to almost be based like how everybody was doing their own thing for training before the San Jose model came out. It needs to be structured like that, and it needs to be recognized accordingly, like um, across the board. <sighs> Mental health and wellness. They definitely need that. Look, we need. I don't know how we're gonna do it. We get one, one people get one. Uh, psyche valve or just checkup and that's in the hiring process and some people have squeaked through because I know some cops that should not be cops honestly they just I don't think they have the, the makeup for it and they're going to say oh well, he did no this this not, not even night and day whether it be I don't think annual is good because a lot can happen a year whether it be semi-annual or quarterly it needs to happen and it's in it it the stigma that is surrounding it needs to um be lifted too, because that is insane. We need help. People need help. It's okay to say you need help. You get exposed to a lot going through life. But 
only life matters. That's it. You get exposed to a lot. I understand it. I've been exposed to a lot. Peer evaluations, and then that's not something as far as the uh, along the lines of like trying to like be vindictive, but kind of the uh, maybe um, anonymous red card, blue card thing like we had in um, going through the uh, suction. Um, more transparency. I understand certain things can't be divulged, but the, the, the public doesn't trust us. We are losing the public's trust. We are losing the public's trust. We serve at the pleasure of the public. You lose that, you lose your right and authority to govern. And that is happening. You can't do wicked stuff and be like, okay, well, cool, we're just doing our jobs. Who are you doing your job for? That's, that's not doing your job. That's a cop-out. That is a cop-out. This is something for me I, I thought it would be better uh, just to add in. Development expansion of like an explorer type program. Yeah, I know they've had it before, but um, kids say they want to be cops, but I mean we're not giving them a reason to you know do it, and we need to foster more mentorship, and it needs to be like a, more of a, a some kind of a program to help kids stay on a scare straight. Let's bring that back. Let them see what it's like, but also give them a healthy option. And just get them out and just like get them out of their normal hoods or whatever it is. They don't know what else is out there. They, we're, we're, what we're showing them is the only option we're giving. And then, what do you expect? <sighs> Listen, I'm wrapping it up because I've rambled way too long. I didn't even touch on half the stuff I wanted to, but... Yeah, this, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. This is my protest against police brutality and everything else that comes along with it in this broken, wicked, worldly system that does not give a damn about people. I don't know what it cares about, but it don't care about us. It truly don't. It does not. It does not. So, I hope y'all do something with that. And then let it not uh, have... No, there's, there's no way that this and the people who are have been in touch with me this past week and all this stuff, it, is, it, it has been confirmation that this is. I mean, it can't. There's no other way that this is possibly supposed to not happen. It is. It was preordained for this to happen. Regardless of what you may think, and that's, that's, that's on you. I know what I got to do. Search your heart, find out what you got to do. Everybody has a different role to play. This part, this one, this is mine. As I said before, this particular message doesn't sound much like a suicide message, but it's possible to be a suicide mission where he's a martyr seeking unity for the people via his death. Many said that if he committed suicide, he should have taken out some of the corrupt police officers or at least expose some of the corrupt cops by giving some names, wouldn't you think? Some suggested maybe it was PTSD or that he took the cowardly way out. And some says he took his life in vain. Let me tell you like the TIS, AKA the Tiz, it's better to make a difference living than it is dead. I have no idea of what he has seen or even participated in that was tainted with evil and wrongdoing, especially working in an organization inundated with white supremacists here, there, and everywhere, as in the criminal justice system, judges, prosecutors, mayors, governors, senators, just to name a few of the many organizations where white supremacists dominate. Now, as concerning maybe he was murdered, Tim Alexander responded, I am a retired officer and I am here to tell you that they will put you in a black book and once you're in that book, you cannot get out. They will set you up for something bad. Your family is in that book also. How about that? As I said, it may be a suicide 
and then and again it may not be a suicide it could be somebody had him murder because of the messages he had posted Anyway, enough said. Feel free to share your perspective on said topic. And if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. Oh, and in the meantime, be beloveds, y'all come back to visit me when you can. Okie doke. Ta-ta.